Hello, friends. We think of our sanctuary, our home on the hill, as one of the great assets of our community. We worked hard to build our beautiful home, and we're proud to have it as, as to be a container of so many sweet and lasting memories. I remember when we were in the process of gathering the energy and resources to create our synagogue home. We talked a lot about the Jewish concept of Mishkan. In the Torah, the Mishkan is the gathering place in the wilderness that houses the Shekhinah, the presence of God. It's built by everyone bringing what they each can particularly offer, whatever their hearts move them to give. The idea of our modern sanctuary comes from that Mishkan in the desert. Now, sanctuary is a physical place, but it is also much more than that. Sanctuary is the essence of all that brings us together, the evocative symbols of our beautiful stained glass art doors, complemented by our lushly abstract stained glass windows. A warm place of welcome, flanked on each side by clear glass portals and more stained glass transoms with the words Ahava, love, and shalom, peace. Our sanctuary invites in the light and creates an almost semi-permeable membrane between the lovely natural beauty of our exterior environment and the inner sacred space. The rich, deep blues of the ark surrounded by the warm, light brown wood of the Torah table, the podium, and the other earth colors create a very special environment for all of the joys and oys of our communal life. The way we use the walls of our sanctuary for the creative expression and sacred objects of our members continuously defines and expresses who we are. What we've discovered in these times when we cannot gather together in our beloved synagogue, our synagogue on the hill, is that we are very good at creating virtual sanctuary, that our services and gatherings, our Torah study, Rosh Chodesh and men's gatherings in virtual space are overflowing with love, warmth, scintillating conversation, and good humor that characterize our in-person gatherings. In other words, in this time of social distancing, we are still us. How we gather is different. It requires a little more intentionality, some different equipment, and a good deal of imagination, but it, it still feels like Beth Chaim. During the High Holy Days, we're including moments for us all to be together. The shofar and tashlich services in Sycamore Valley Park around the pond and our Share Your New Year's Greetings video that we're hopefully all going to contribute to and share with the whole community. There are a variety of different kinds of services and classes during this month of Elul so that you can experience the High Holy Days in ways that, that feel good to us. Drawing on who we are as a community, our High Holy Days this year are designed to bring us together in continuing to build that sanctuary, to virtually put our arms around each other, greet those we haven't seen in a long while, and come together in all our strength and love. While we can't gather in our sanctuary, we will be streaming from our sanctuary. Our High Holy Day services this year are designed to be intimate, to enable us all to feel our 
special form of sanctuary in our own homes. Mostly, we wish you all, our beloved Beth Chaim community, a Shana Tova Um Tuka, a year of much sweetness, health, safety, and joy, and are looking forward to being together in the month of Elul and through the holy days. Stay safe and be well. Shalom uvracha, peace and blessings.